All right, so in today's video, this is going to be a sort of old style video like I used to do alongside being an update video as well. So in today's video, I'm just gonna do some old things that I used to do in videos like maintenance on the cables that are poking out there and it's just some tidying up. I wanna experiment with using the AccuSound rears that you can't see here uh, as my primary rear speakers instead of the Cantons and wire them in series instead of, uh, so they're at a 12 ohm load and try using them as my rears instead of the Cantons because the Cantons do run out of power. Um, so I'll try that out in this video. And I also wanna talk about possibly doing another one of those show off your system because it seems that a lot of people were unaware that that was going on. So I might make that announcement in a couple of videos before I decide to then make the final video. I still gotta work out what the best way is to actually get the videos to me because sending me the links over Instagram uh, in direct message, I can't log into direct message on computer so I have to message every single one of your links to myself, then copy the links, then put it on YouTube, uh, then watch the video, check that it's all good, then download the video and then put it in my video. But uh, if you wanna see another one of those, check a thumbs up on this video down below and also if you wanna see more uh, videos like this, also chuck a thumbs up on the video. And lastly, I'm thinking about doing some shirts. So if you guys wanna do, uh, if you guys want, if you guys would buy a shirt, I'm gonna put a poll up in the uh, cards up the top right there. If you would buy a shirt, just a basic nice shirt with my logo or with a logo on the front of it that says Doublesome. If you would actually buy that, go give it a yes up there. I'd be doing it reasonably cheap. I won't be marking up prices at all. It's gonna be pretty much as cheap as I can possibly get it. So they shouldn't be too expensive. So if you guys would be buying one of those shirts or would be interested in that, let me know up in the cards up there. And uh, yeah, so let's kick this video off. Uh, first things first, I'm going to try running these AccuSound rears in uh, series and see how they sound. All right, so let's unplug the banana plugs off the back of this Canton and hook up the Aku sound rears. All right, so I now have the Aku sound speakers hooked up in a series, which should be a 16 ohm load on my receiver over there, which is absolutely ridiculous. So if we have a listen, I've set a plus 10 decibel boost on the rears, and you can still barely hear the rear speakers over the fronts when you're sitting on the couch, so. what I'm actually going to do is instead I'm going to just try wiring the top one in and see if that's a lot louder because technically it's less speaker but it should be pushing more power because it has a lower impedance so what I'm going to do is just hook the top one up now instead of having them both wired together in series and then we'll see how that results. Okay so you probably can't tell on video but that is way louder. So I just have the rears going. That's quiet. That is way louder with just that top one on. So I'm gonna hook just the top one over here up and we'll see how we go from there. All right, so now what I've done is hook them up normally, just the top ones and oh my God. Just the speakers, no subs are hooked up now. Uh, I do have the rest of the system playing, but that's just a little lesson in impedances. Uh, higher impedances uh, definitely take a lot more power to drive. When they were 16 ohms uh, with the two speakers, I had a plus 10 dB boost and you could still not hear those over the fronts. And now I've just got the top ones hooked up and a plus two, two instead of 10 decibel boost on the rears and you can hear them over the front. So I'm probably just gonna set them back as a zero dB boost and just run the whole system flat because that's all you need. So that's just a little lesson in uh, 16 ohms on two speakers versus eight ohms on one is definitely a lot louder with one on eight ohms because the higher the impedance, the harder it is for the amplifier or the easier it is for the amplifier to power but the actual harder, the more power you need to get more volume out if that makes sense. So. 
I'm just gonna run it like that for now. I do still have a spare two channels of that amp, so I could hook the bottom ones up as well on different channels, but I really just can't be bothered with that at the moment because I have to undo all these cable ties and things. But uh, yeah, that was just a little messing around video. Now the back of my room looks a little different without the Cantons, and if you ask me, it looks cleaner like that. Also, I will be getting a new couch soon because this couch, although it looks pretty nice and welcoming, is the most uncomfortable couch ever. And as you can see here, it's starting to fall apart, but it is so uncomfortable, it's not funny. So, a new couch coming soon. I need to clean my keyboard and that is so dirty. Look at all that. But anyway, we can see there. Let me turn this background music off. And now I queue up my own background music in post. But uh, that's pretty much it. By the way, if you wanted to know that song, and it'll probably be the background song throughout the whole video anyway, there it is. But with that being said, I'm now gonna probably try and go down to some secondhand stores and pick up some cheap speakers to blow because I know you guys love those videos. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this little random video and you wanna see more casual videos like this, Give me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.